I got interested in canning from an apple tree. When we were living in Ottawa, there was a huge apple tree in my backyard and it was just like more apples than anyone could eat. I gave them away, I hung them in bags off the fence and it's just, they just kept coming and coming and coming. And I thought, how can I save this? So or like, you know, continue enjoying these apples for longer. I was with a, a group called um, Hidden Harvest at the time. So they are a gleaning group. So you pick your neighbor's fruit um, and then a share goes to Hidden Harvest. It's actually connected with a woman named Sarah who has a, still has a company there called Top Shelf Preserves. And she showed me how easy it is to just batch preserve like tons of stuff. So I just loved canning from that moment on. So I decided to become a master canner or master food preserver was the name of the course because I, I wanted to learn more about the processes that I had been doing all along and not to be an expert, but just to have some kind of authoritative backing for when I did go out to the community and say, would you like to learn to do these things? And it actually really helped when they approached me or they uh, introduced me at these workshops. They say, oh, this is Michelle and she's got this master food preserver. If they, if they say nothing else, they say that. I don't think of it as a career. Um, I think of it like, uh, like a lost art that I'm trying to bring back. You know, there's so many lost arts like um, like even the, if, we, if I went partridge hunting, knowing how to dress the bird, how to, those things like not everybody knows them anymore. When we're talking about food sovereignty and trying to reconnect to the land and that sort of thing, uh, sometimes we don't know because those arts are in our grandmother or grandfather's memories. And so I'm just trying to do my small part of bringing those lost arts back.